Bro, I go live with Ryan Carper for one day. One day. <laughs> well, I've been talking to him in a lot of his lives, actually. But, like, I actually talked to him, like, one-on-one -on, -one on his live. You feel me? I'm, I'm going to make a video about that, John. I don't know. I don't know the order or the sequence of what the fuck is going on right now. I'm just making mad videos and stuff. I'm going to post them whenever I feel like it. But, bro, I just left my fucking body, bro. Like... Within the span of, well, I set a timer for an hour, but, like, I know that shit happened, like, with, like, 15 minutes later. It's really, yo, because I used to do the joint all the time for y'all who've been on my channel for a while before I deleted all my videos and shit. But, yeah, this shit was, like, mad easy. Like, I, I, went, I went to sleep on my side at that. I went to sleep. And then it's like, I felt myself, and I'm like, okay, this is definitely the astral plane. So I just got up and shit. And, you know, I remember, I, I, was, I remember thinking about how Ryan said that you, you're not going to be able to leave your room for a while. But it's like, when I first started astral projecting, I left my room pretty fast. So I was like, I'm just going to leave my room anyway. So I left my room, and I went downstairs, and I saw some stuff on the floor in the living room. So here's where I messed up at. I went to go touch something. You feel me? And then that joint just sent me to ultimate blackness. The reason why is because I feel like it lowered my reality down to a more physical state. Because after that, I started, um, like, it became more like dream shit happening. Like, it was less like, like, my, my reality had more control than I did type shit. Because now I was in a situation where basically characters in my real life were popping up inside the astral state and I thought that I was really here but I wasn't like for example somebody had came to my door and I was trying to get up to go to the door but it was so hard for me like it was so hard for me to move to the door I'm thinking I'm in physical reality and I just astral projected but now I'm back inside physical reality so I'm trying to go to the door and talk to the person and I didn't want to tell them that I just astral projected because this type of person they're not going to understand what the fuck I'm talking about so I didn't want to say I just left my body and shit whole time I'm still inside of a astral plane it's just a lower level one you feel me so then I went unconscious at some point of that John and then I thought that I was here again so like I felt my fingers so I started doing this with my fingers and shit I'm like okay I can move and shit I'm like alright so I started touching stuff that's physical and you know i felt it be physical so i'm like you know what nah i'm like i'm in physical reality so i go to the mirror and i look at my body i'm just like yo like my body look crazy like like it wasn't like i didn't like no energy shit but like like my muscles and shit looked like mad defined like the way that my abs looked and shit like it just looked like crazy i'm like yo what the fuck and i felt amazing so i'm just i just started turning up and getting lit getting lit at some point, I know I felt I fell unconscious and just started experiencing nothing and shit like that. And then my timer woke me up. But, um, yeah, bro, I just had, like, three different experiences. One of them being a very conscious one within the span of an hour. But I know that the very conscious one happened, like, 15, 20 minutes as soon as I fell asleep. You feel me? Yeah, that shit crazy. Yeah, hopefully, Ryan's going live today. You feel me? So, um... Hopefully, I could, I, could, I could join his live and talk about that. I want to talk about the causal planning and this experience, and then, yeah. Then, yeah. Huh.